Hey everyone, this is Gus, and welcome to my new COVID lockdown transmission. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, welcome to Zero to Hero. Uh, concept art made easy. What? Well, it's not that easy. It has never been easy. At least you have to know how to draw. That means it's something. But anyway, um, since the beginning, I, I've been trying to do a video, so I'm going to give you some highlights about it. I'm going to show you whatever I'm using for my um, transmission. I'm using a computer, actually. <laughs> I have a monitor. I have a second screen, which is this. This is my little fella. Um, XP Pen. Um, I'm going to be using a Click Studio Pen. Remember the last time, I mean, last week when we did, uh, when I did, actually. For you guys, the uh, Samurai Martian, uh, aka alien, grayish kind of guy. So, yeah, well, right now I'm planning to continue with it. And uh, we're going to do the second part of the development of this character art. And uh, first, you have the character art. Uh, I know that many guys on the internet just put the character art like, uh, well, this is for you and you have to do this and they just start you know creating the character art out of nothing ex nihilo nihilo est that means from the nothing nothing comes out so yeah they have an idea in their minds they already been doing this for years years and years so for them it's easy the same way I can start a character practically out of nothing in a white paper with traditional method and it's gonna be a little more uh, complicated here with the uh, digital but true is when they do this they are portraying themselves they are selling themselves rather than sometimes rather than teaching you I'm not pretending to teaching you I'm just showing you my method what I do first well first I do a raw sketch second that sketch is gonna be a little more terminated more finished uh, I'm gonna add some blemishes down there and done some nice things so and then I will start inking after the inking it could be the flat process and after the flat is finished I will start painting but since uh, since the dome of times comes that art has been considered to be like quick which is mm, if you the more you rush the better you should be I mean if you are gonna do do rush things quickly I mean like flash mm, you better be good because otherwise you're gonna make mess and uh, some parts that's the difference between you keeping the job of you getting out so my not my advice to you guys is is that somebody asks you for a concept take your time you start thinking don't go into a rush process gather all the information so when you have all the information whether it's in your tablet or it's in a bunch of magazines of, of over the internet or whatever the place is once you have all the information then you will start drawing and we, you will draw your soul out sometimes you only have an hour but let me tell you with a piece of paper and a pencil you can just make a comic in one hour I mean a rough so you can just make a rough or whatever the concept art are and show it to the art director the, when the art director see all the papers they say okay this guy knows because he started in the most difficult part the most difficult part is conceptualizing that means making the concept into a real thing instead of painting 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 is just a set of skills but to paint something that didn't exist into something that exists right now you need skills first but you also need drawings you have to draw that thing you have to know how it's gonna look front size three quarters top bottom perspective whatever you have to know exactly how this thing is gonna look what I did with my uh, aka alien samurai thing is just a light approach it took me like one hour because I'm a little rusty but um, for that nice concert artist it will take in like 20 minutes or so 20-30 minutes 
So they, they will start giving, doing this because 90% of the time they are spending all their time doing rapid sketches. I mean, fast sketches. They have to be quick, they have to be fast. Same for you. You have to be quick, you have to be fast, but you have to be accurate too. So if you want something that looks medieval, you have to have your references first about the medieval ages. What period of time, you know, the medieval ages start in the uh, probably 670, uh, probably around the 700, around the 700 to 800 to 800, and finish in in the year 1500, 15, 1570 something or 1580 something, because when the with the advent of the 17th century, there was no medieval ages. So we have two periods that are still in the Middle Ages, which is the Quattrocento and the Cinquecento, which is the Renaissance, 200 years. For many guys, just 100 years because it's 500, uh, 1500 to 1600. But for many of the historians, yeah, and I like that person too, it started with the Quattrocento in Italy. So the Quattrocento and the Cinquecento, which is the 400 and the 500s. So that's period of time. That is the end of the medieval ages. So you have a bunch of things in a period of almost, almost 400 years, 400, 600 years. You have from God the Mall, which is Mall, Steel Mall, you have from Steel Mall to Play Armor, to Play Armor and Steel, uh, uh, steel Mall, and you have for the for the kind of uh, like a huge Norman shields to the small shields to the bucklers to the to the iron sword to the Viking sword to the Norman sword to the two-handed sword to the Swihander in German, which is two hundred uh, and two hundred, I mean, and also to the um, to the rapier uh, to the cut and thrust to many swords. There is a bunch of weapons there, and there's a bunch of huge periods of time. So you have to have your research about the periods of time. Same if you are going for the for something that is a steampunk, and you never know about steampunk. So you have no idea about the period of time. So you know that steampunk, punk, steampunk is is uh, is focusing in some 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 place between the 17 probably end of the 1700s to the early 1900s. So you have to find something like that. You have to search uh, something in the Victorian era, pretty much 1860, Victorian era, I started the Victorian era. Yeah, the saying, the steampunk ends uh, in the United States. It was during what we know after the assassination of Lincoln, 1862, 1863, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, so you have to have those ideas and those ideas about clothes, about how is the how is the you know hairdos in that in that time, uh, women, men, how they look, because America and England were quite different, and the rest of Europe was quite different too. In the same way for the for the, for for many other cultures, you have to invent it. Or at least develop. So, um, with no further ado, uh, let's, let's shall continue with the other thing. With my little fella, is here. And uh, by the way, that is my Twitter. It's uh, at Gas Duenas, which is Gas, my name, Duenas, my last name. So yes, um, that is my first and last name. So feel. Feel free, please, to do this. And I have this problem here. I don't know why I have my, yeah, now it's a better size. Yeah, that happens live. I didn't check, huh? I don't know why, but I didn't check, I usually do. Yeah, so you will see my face, my face, my face and my stuff in the bottom corner. Uh, because I just realized that it's the one part that I'm not using. So, let's go. 
Let's go use the pants. I'm not gonna pants. Um, I like to do with the, these kind of pants they are. Wow. They just changed me this. Oh, yeah, this the tall property. Oh. Cancel. Oh, these guys, they're really, 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 really change everything that I have. Okay, this is something important that you need when you're using this uh, in Clear Studio Paint, which is the, let me tell you, is the tool properties. Yes, this is something that you need. I don't know why I have the Clear Studio Paint this size. I don't know why I don't have the rest of the pens. I need the rest of the pens. I only have one pen here. So I need to know why I don't have, have this. I'm going to use the G pen anyway, but I, I like to see the other pens. Uh, markers. Stop markers. Uh, let me see the window. Subtool details. I don't know where I do have this two details. Yeah, I don't need that. Now these are my layers. Wish I needed this is fresh color. Materials. No, I don't need that. No. The downloads. No, that's a ton of things and I don't know. I don't know what happened with Clear Studio Paint. It just did this to me the last time. Okay, I don't need this one. I don't have this. You see the window. My workspaces. This was the, yeah, whatever. Hmm, I have the same. Okay, now this is the problem. And this guy. Let me put this guy here. Color wheel. Also, this guy here. Color sliders. Color sets. Everything is color here. I don't know where I don't have this. Uh, huh. Yeah, put this guy here. Yeah, and I have the color wheel. They tell me the colors. Okay. And the color history. Sometimes this is nice for me to paint. Yeah, this is something that I need. This is the properties of the tool. So it has a stabilization and so forth. Um, this is the other parts that I need a little more. And let me put this guy here.
put a mitigation here. Yeah. Okay. Search a layer. I put this with the layers. Animation cell. I don't need animation cells. Yeah, whatever. Okay. This one looks a little more than what I'm looking for. Okay. So let me get this guy out. Yeah. So remember, this was the pretty rush sketch for me to have the anatomy of this object, of this creature. So I have the anatomy. And then for that, I create this. This is going to be like, this was uh, pretty much already sketch for us. So I'm going to no need a new layer, okay, now the layer, and this guy is going to be a little grayish, for that matters. Okay, so right now, let me see, oh, yeah. okay, so this is the real GPM that I have, GPM, I've been using Krita last week. This, the whole week I've been using Krita. So, fine. Try to be a little more. gonna do some sort of
let me check my channel guys let me see how we're doing on YouTube right now it will take me maybe That sound that you're just hearing is the sound of my machine, which I, I guess the, the the fans are a little louder. I guess all oh, yes for that. So let me get this a little more. Too much, I guess. Like, When I'm not doing uh, everything like the uh, like the tattoos and the other things because we are going to put it I'm going to put it on the flats I'm just focusing right now and doing pretty much uh, the line art
gonna make this wheel smaller. Check my Where's the navigator. Oh, yeah.
Okay. Looks better. So remember, guys, I'm not doing the the things in the fabric because that thing I will do. I'm doing the flats.
check your gang. How are we doing right now? Let me say welcome to my streaming. So far, we are 43 minutes into this. Wow. Yeah, I'm just doing that. The good thing about um, you know using layers, let me just erase this. Different this and many other tutorials that exist outside there. Well, this is real time and is as complicated as it should be. So for many people, yeah, this is no, I don't want complicated. 
I want something that is like uh, you know interesting I want this interested to my to interesting to my viewers so I'm gonna do something that it looks complicated well the complicated stuff is never in in real time and it's pretty much done in um, like a time lapse yeah 200 and um, oh yeah 2500 percent sometimes five five thousand percent of the regular normal speed which is three three frames per second so right now we're doing this guy the inks of this guy yes completely So we are doing this armor absolutely completely real time.
so far. This one looks like this, and it's gonna be this way. I'm not using any rulers, I'm using just as you were using a regular kind of a pen, pen and paper, and also like so you are using just inks. I mean, a regular kind of inks, like uh, using a neat pen with a Tachikawa pen or a G pen. Yeah, that's the way it will look like. This is the way it was intended. Also, the part of the part of the sword. Once you have in your mind whatever is going to be the structure of this, it's going to be easier to uh, draw like I'm doing right now. I found something weird here. Oh, I just noticed. If I'm not going to use this, so I'm not going to use it.
Okay, so far this is how this guy is looking. That's where you're there. And that is, yeah. So, let me get rid of this. Yeah, I know I cannot touch my eyes. Yeah. They are itching. pretty much fine art remember I'm avoiding <laughs> on there I'm avoiding to use Avoiding to use call um, the patterns. I'm going to, well, not to use. I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding to do the patterns because it's something that we'll do with the. Something I will certainly do with the or sketches.
just turn that which is Wow, I'm one hour into the streaming.
This is the first part. The guy. He looks better.
Well, I know this is not the most exciting part about the, the creation of something, but at least this is the part when you are supposed to, uh, you know, to showcase whatever you're doing. So yeah, so this is the level of details that I'm using. Oh man, I just lost this part. I had to do it too. Okay, so once I'm finished this, I'm finished this guy. I have to do this and do this and ripping the on. At least for a couple of hours. Good. What happened here? That means I never got to.
Okay. Wow. What a mountain of details. I still have this part that is not doing right now. But I'm gonna finish. And then I have to finish overlining the sari, which is like the spear. I guess Ojaris. Ojari. I don't know what is the name of that thing. That's my wife and my daughter. <laughs> They're just chatting in Spanish. You know, sometimes I wish I have this kind of like um, solid ink. Well, I have the solid ink actually. I have a Sumie ink, which is like a Chinese for calligraphy. It's a sol it's a solid ink. You have to add water and that that kind of stuff. But I like to have the solid ink, but the one that is colors. I mean, many colors of solid ink is like pretty much like uh, having a what is call it the. Um, yeah, for example, when you have the, um, what is this, called this thing, when you have the, oh, I have this, I have this here, okay, so, um, yeah, I have my window for the settings on the pen and my second panel, I said, what, what is it doing there, so, yeah, I just, X, well, um, coming back, um, I would like to have the Sonic Ink, but the the one that is colors. 
I like to to put that in uh, in like um, in my uh, brush pens and all pretty much my water pens to see how it goes. It looks like watercolors, but somebody told me that they are they they behave pretty much like inks. You know, watercolors are right opaque, but opaque, but the the solid ink is is glossy. So I, I like to see that actually. Yeah, because many of these things, originally the watercolors, the Japanese watercolors, the Chinese watercolors were done with solid inks, and they have inks and colors. Not the watercolors we know right now, but they have those inks and colors. So yeah, right now we're like this. See, that's the, the good thing about the pressure. You can do this, or you can do this. See? This is the good thing I like about the pressure in the in the display tablet. For example, if I use my G pen, which is mm, a little less than this, it's like using a tree. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. So if, if I want something extra, I have to, you know. But in this case, I just go there and do it like this, and if I want something like this, but if I want something a little more thicker, I can use that. And you see the, this is actually the Clip Studio Pen G Pen, stock G Pen. I'm just using the stock stuff, I'm telling you, I will be using all the that is stuff in the G pen. I mean in the in the clear studio pen. For you to see that I'm not using my own brushes and brushes, I mean like uh, other guys that I see. They do pretty nice but uh, you cannot have their style unless you pay for the brushes. They develop the brushes. Uh, I think that is is fair enough. But I guess if you look in the in YouTube, there is this places where you can just see about the brushes. I guess. Try to do this. See? So, yeah, we have this guy, and we are gonna go for this guy. But I don't know where the rulers are. I need like a row like this because I don't want to. Let me see where my rulers Yeah, okay, linear rulers. Figure ruler. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So let me go and try to see what I'm gonna do with these rollers. <laughs> I have no idea how to. What? By ruler. Uh, so yeah, I don't need the ruler. Okay. I'll create a new layer, and I will do the ruler there. Okay, let's do the ruler. So we have a ruler pen. Uh, I don't see like mm, mm, I like other things. Or 
left shoulder. And I'm gonna use the same ruler again because I need the other part. Mm, okay, that looks better. to your order. Okay, so now my structure show has line of it. So let me get rid of this. It's gonna be like this. This is pretty much the line art. Everything that you're gonna see extra, like uh, you know, these parts, um, for example. So far guys, this is my little fella. I'm gonna make a new layer. And this layer is gonna have the separations, which is gonna be more thicker black lines 
that's gonna separate whatever are the shapes from the one shape from the others pretty much parts of the armor from the neck parts of the face and the other parts parts of the hands so you will see the three 3D, three-dimensionality of the object. So let me do this, and I guess we're finished with that. Then I use my real GPM, but a little bigger. Oh, it is, it's nice. So yeah, this is the part when we are gonna do like this. Do a little, like, shadows. Also, for example, see. And they are in a different layout because if I think that I'm not doing anything good, I can just take it out. Yeah. separate this guy from this guy and this guy from this guy okay and for example this part is automatically separated from this and this part is also separated from this yeah same and this part is also separated and this part is also separated and this guy it is also separated from this. I'm using a different layers guys so if I, I think that I don't like it I can just erase it without even messing with my figure. The eyes in any way the eyes are gonna be like this. This part I should be a little more separated. guys these guys between these guys here there's the separation
Okay, yeah, looks way better. Now we know we acknowledge every single element there. Have their position. We are probably My sim tool is this. Okay, guys. Well, this is the part of the. This is the inking. You can just call it the inking. Let me get rid of this guy for you to see. This is the inking with all the all the parts that is going to show, like the 3D. So this is gonna look actually it will look like this once we apply the colors colors next one will we are start doing the the flatters the flats actually I'm gonna start using flying colors and then we will proceed to paint not that much as a big huge paint the one that I'm accustomed to doing like two or three hours but pretty much this um, I took so much time because of the level of details. I have a lot of details there, so the armor it should be like a, you know, like a, like a samurai armor, and also the the other parts it should be in that way. So um, I'm gonna finish for today, and uh, we'll continue next time. And just remind you guys to be healthy and safe. And also going to uh... okay. I'm going to uh, take a little time to say thank you to all the uh, subscribers to my channel. Thank you guys. I uh, appreciate that you take the time to subscribe to my channel, and I will appreciate you, everyone, seeing you to take the time to subscribe to my channel. This channel is not intended to make myself into a, a, like a, one of these uh, Instagram kind of, kind of guys or a, like an influencer or something. I'm not telling you what to wear, what to uh, buy or uh, what is the style you should have for your uh, For your concert art, or, or even for your the drawings, or even for your paintings, those are my paints. And uh, my um, my intention since the beginning was make a voice, not for uh, myself only, but for all of uh, all of us guys. That we think every time that we step on artstation.com or that we step on Devin Art. We see many, many horrible art, by the way, but also very, very good art. I mean, somebody, some guys that are just amazing. And every time that I saw that in the past, I said, oh man, I'm not so worthy. But true is, we have different styles. And uh, you are worthy, because if you know how to draw, you have it inside you. 
the, the next thing is get some training Udemy there is a free training everywhere you can just uh, buy books if you want it you can just uh, go to Udemy.com you can just go to universities you can afford go to college for art go there is uh, many illustrators don't have uh, the truth is many many ex successful illustrators don't have the kind of uh, uh, college or university kind of education for the uh, for the art they don't have a bachelor's degree in illustration in, in art or uh, also they don't have a, a college degree in that they just guys that probably have another degree and they just follow their heart like me I have a degree in marketing and <laughs> advertising and uh, all the time that I was working in advertising agencies I was just doing rough sketches or whatever the ad is gonna be or the commercial I used to do the, my, my own storyboards so yeah I'm, a, I'm also a storyboard artist and and then I just said well what I'm writing because when I was I like is to telling you or to to tell the tale visually so I'm a visual storyteller that is the way many, many guys I see many guys in Instagram and girls in Instagram they just announce themselves as a visual storyteller which is like artist illustrator or whatever well we are visual storytellers if we are trying to I'm telling the story of this little fella here this character and, and this is the way I want to portray it but also many concert artists they don't have that education they don't for for example I'm just watching I'll go go to YouTube and try to Google this the is a lady that was an, in the in the 40s when she started when she started uh, doing uh, concert art for Konami Konami is in Japan and they they hired this lady particular lady to be the concert art artist for uh, Metal Gear Solid so all the things that you see in Metal Gear Solid it was because of her and she never never had a conventional conventional college education for art she just got from the God the God oh God so uh, anyway don't convince yourself don't convince yourself that you are not worthy you are this channel is just a voice you can just see an individual that is progressing through these stages I was born with this I um, start doing uh, art since I was a kid but my problem is I got trapped in the light that Telling is just enough. Telling is not enough. You need skills. You need to push those skills. So I didn't get much of a traditional education in art, and I went for the commercial. Then when I tried to do art, I just frustrate so much times. Uh, so many times I frustrate myself so much because I see those guys that are so good, and I said I cannot do that. It's impossible to me because I don't have what is needed then I saw this in videos in YouTube and it turns out those guys were using tablets I mean I have a Wacom bamboo yeah those guys have uh, into us which is way pricier than the Wacom bamboo at that time my Wacom bamboo was 60 bucks when the first uh, the first time I bought it it was like um, 15 years ago and um, yeah and I was uh, with the, that work on until uh, 2016. 16. And then I changed it for an XP pen and then again for another XP pen. And then I changed it for this XP pen, which is a display tablet, is the artist 15.6. I'm not making any, any, I'm not making any, um, you know, commercial or advertising for XP Bank. Actually, I buy it because I saw many, many reviews in, the, in YouTube about this being a very nice tablet. And uh, they started using the brand. And since then, I'm using the brand. Anyway, uh, if you could afford a Wacom, go for the Wacom 600. To start with, it's, 
It's the best you can do. I wish I have it. Uh, I, I want to have it. So probably in the future, when in this uh, COVID-19 craziness just a stop and we can just try to get some sort of resemblance on a normal life. And uh, yeah, when that happens, I will have it. Promise, cross my heart, I will have a Wacom. And um, anyway, but this is a tool. A Wacom, XP Paint, Julian, or whatever the brand, it's just a tool. Even the, the fancies, the fancies, which is the iPad Pro, it's just a tool. Or the, whatever you are, the AP, HP, uh, whatever, C or something, it's just a tool. If you don't have the coordination on the, if you don't have the part of your brain that is developed for that, for drawing, it's useless. You can just have an iPad Pro and just make like uh, dribbles that doesn't have any sense, doesn't have any sort of beauty, doesn't have any sort of resemblance to something called art. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you spend six thousand dollars in equipment. If you don't have the talent, if you don't be born drawing, it doesn't matter. It's just a tool. Tools are meant to make your life easier, no more talented. The tools don't make me more artist. I'm already art. They don't make you a best drawer. You already draw. They don't make you best painter. You already paint. So yeah, it's the same with the brushes. Even though you have a squirrel hair brush, which is way expensive, or one of those brushes that you can just buy for 10 bucks, the the Sabre brushes, Sabre, Sabre or Sable brushes that can, you can just buy in, you know, in Michaels or eBay. It doesn't matter. There's no difference. It's the same brush. It's just the material. And the materials don't make you best painter. You can just suck with the most expensive brush or suck with the most cheaper. It won't change the outcome. The outcome is in you. So go outside. Now with this pandemic, we are locked down everywhere. Everyone, so we have a great opportunity. First, everything is gonna change. So the way to do business is gonna change. Everything is gonna be online, online is safer. So you can just ask for a job, online job. And the people, in the states, so we'll try. I hope somebody has to make a law, a, a law into the United States to try at least give us the guys that we are already living here a chance. And um, the other thing is, it's also a change for you to skill yourself to go and um, find a nice. One of these curses. It doesn't matter who is the guy. Could be the guy that is the the concept artist for the uh, Blizzard, let's say, it, or the uh, uh, Lucas Arts or whatever, or the guy that is virtually unknown. Um, there is an artist from the 19th century. Uh, yeah, 19. Yeah, sign agent center that I really love. That was uh, Eugene Delacroix. He was a French artist. And he said, a, a, a true for everyone that is in art. Just tell me how to do it. I will put the rest. The rest is on me. Yeah, just tell me how to do it. Just tell me how to paint in Photoshop. Just tell me how to make lines and more straight uh, exercise my, 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 uh, shoulder coordination, not to use my elbow, or using my elbow and my shoulder instead of my wrist. Tell me how to do this. Tell me what are the, are the, are the, I mean the exercises to be more skillful doing that. Tell me how can I draw like a master of this 16th century using just like this. Tell me how to do it. Because the rest is on me. It doesn't matter if you are not a good drawer, if you don't have that developed in your mind, 
it doesn't matter the guy who is trying to tell you how to do it you won't do it you will be mediocre uh, at least or bad but if you know how to do it and you've been born been blessed with that talent you can do it and as many skills you just need practice 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 and practice that is what you need so thank you guys for watching me please subscribe to my channel and um, support these artists <laughs> and um, share it in your and uh, your in social media and uh, you know spread the voice about this guy thank you so much stay healthy stay at home and uh, have a blessed day and well trust in God for everyone who trusts in God everything is good it doesn't matter how dry it looks like it will for the good really good thank you guys and God bless you all have a nice weekend